Finally, Microsoft rolling out the branded presentations in Copilot, a feature that we were waiting for for multiple months after the announcement. So right now you will be able to upload your templates for the PowerPoint presentations, prepare them specifically for the Copilot, and then use them when you will create the presentation using the file or from scratch, using AI capabilities. In this video, I will show you how this feature works and also how to prepare specific PowerPoint templates to fit in into AI requirements to make it work proper way with Copilot. If you like this video or want to support this channel in the area of YouTube algorithms, leave the comments below, leave the thumbs up or subscribe to get the new videos directly to your YouTube account. Now we will switch to my screen where I will show you how to use branded presentations in Copilot. Yeah, wait for a moment. I want to also invite you to Copilot Quick Start Training, dedicated workshop that I prepare for Copilot users. If you want to learn more how to use efficiently Copilot in your organization, check the link in the description when you will get special discounts for the YouTube viewers. See you there. So let's see how to use Copilot in PowerPoint with your templates. So you can see when you will start the creation of the new presentation, you will get the possibility to select the presentation template. This is something totally new and fantastic new feature for every user who working that in the organization that have some kind of branding, have some kind of templates of the presentation that should or have to be used. So as always, we putting the prompt about creation, the new presentation, what is the topic, what is interesting for us. We can also reference to the file like Word document, offer, contract, anything else. But right now we can also change the design. We can select the current one. We can select the presentation templates that are available across our organization. In the description of the video, I will show you how to create the space for the presentation that will be available in here. And also I will share with you some ideas how to prepare that presentation to work better with Copilot. And also you can use some multiple templates that are provided by Microsoft. When you will select the template, you can move forward and create the presentation and the template, the design selected by you will be used for your prompt or for the files you're referencing for. You can see the process looking very similar Our previously we get this more advanced wizard that can create the bucket, create the proper structure of the presentation and we can generate the slides that will also follow our branding guideline, which you will be able to see in the moment. This is something very crucial if you're starting to work with Microsoft 365 Copilot in PowerPoint, because finally we will be able to not only create great content, but also use our slides, our branding inside PowerPoint. And in the moment we get the presentation that following our branding, we have specific slides for the title slides, agenda, conclusion, and other structure. We have our branding, we have our colors, we have our fonts. Sounds really interesting. So let's see how to prepare such a template to make it possible to be used in Copilot in PowerPoint. So please check the description of the video. You will find there the reference to another video where I showing how to create organization assets in SharePoint, where you can publish PowerPoint templates that will not only be used by Copilot, but will be available for everyone in the organization in the PowerPoint application. So very useful functionality. So the only thing you need to do is to upload the file to this location and automatically PowerPoint will use that file. So you can see it is super simple. The only thing you need to do is to publish organization asset library for your company. So let's check how to prepare PowerPoint presentation to work better with Copilot. So open your template in the PowerPoint application. You will see that this is the POTX format of the file that have to be used in here. And if you want to 
adapt this template to be better used by Copilot, there is a small thing that you should take into consideration here. So go to the view section and then open the slide master, which is hidden feature in PowerPoint that allow you to contain and manage the style of the PowerPoint presentation. So you can see on top, you can manage the fonts, the colors, the effects, and one more element that you need to take into consideration, every type of the slide will contain the title that which you can rename using the button on the top. This is the layout name for the specific slide template. When you will click the new slide button, these are the templates that are popping up there. And if you will follow specific guidelines for compiled in PowerPoint, Copilot will use this specific templates, this specific layouts of the slides for the specific elements in Microsoft 365 Copilot. So for instance, if you will use the name of title, then this will be the default look and feel for the title slide of your presentation. In case of agenda, use agenda. In case of section, use section. In case of content, use the content or text. And in case on conclusion, use conclusion. Remember, probably your template will have multiple uh, layouts with that kind of name, like title one, two, three, conclusion one, two, three. I highly recommend you to test this with the limited number. So use default slides that should be used for the title agenda content conclusion that will use that name in the layout name and rename others using different wording. Something that will not block you from using additional slide templates, but the naming convention will be fitting expectations of Copilot. This is super simple, but will help your slides to work better. Yeah, to be fair, I'm really excited about this feature because this, that was the last element that users were complaining about. We want to build the presentations using AI, but they are ugly. So right now we can use our branded templates with Copilot and very soon we will also be able to use our pictures. So any internal stock of pictures and images that are allowed this is something that we will be also able to integrate with Copilot. Sounds very good and I hope that that will be the breakpoint for Copilot in PowerPoint that it will become heavily used in the area of creating the new presentations in every organization. Frankly, this is the feature that I was looking for for multiple months. I hope that you will try this feature on your Microsoft 365 tenant. Check how Copilot working right now and if you will have any further questions, use the comments below. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.